Hi everyone, my name is Joseph and today I wanted to share what I got through Zen and TCG. So one might probably guess what it's going to be, but I finally get, um, I finally did receive, or rather my Postmon uh, BE DIM card finally arrived and here it is. Uh, so as one may be aware, this might be the last um, DIM card for the Vital Bracelet, unfortunately. I'm personally still hoping that it's not true. I'm hoping that we might get some more announcements via uh, 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 regarding the Vital Bracelet in the future, even if it's not Digimon specific. Uh, but we're going to have to wait and see. Many of the community have pointed out how it's a little bit po uh, poetic because the Vital series started with the Postmon uh, DIM card and now it's ending with the Vital Bracelet BE card. So that's a little factor that many have been pointing out. So I decided just to include that detail as well. Uh, just to differentiate myself a little bit. I know last week I messed up with that video. I already shared how I store my DIM cards in general. What I meant to share, what I promised to do in the previous uh, Vital Bracelet video, not the last one, but the one before that, which is share how I store my BE cards. It left, uh, it, it, I totally forgot that I really shared how I store my DIM cards, the non-BE. So uh, I thank you for your patience in regards to that. Hopefully uh, one did find that video useful though in regards to the uh, the hint, not the hint, but the tip about the cases. I actually have that case with me again because I'm going to show them off because uh, from what I recall, uh, when I got, so these cases is how I store my BE cards. So this is my main one. Uh, so when I open, what I love about this so much is how it's uh, not detachable, as in it's just one unit, or maybe one unit is not the correct way to describe it. Uh, but as in, uh, it's just you can't lose the cover because it's just part of it, right? Uh, what I like about it as well is the design. I mean, I'm a big Gobblemon fan, and uh, so obviously that's why I opted for this one. But this also of uh, uh, includes Agumon. I love how they have their evolutions on both sides, and also have the Digivice in the middle uh, with its corresponding uh, color. Uh, so I appreciate that a lot. When I open it up, uh, this has space for eight, uh, eight cards on both sides, so 16 in total. And one could see that we have uh, all the ones that I've opened already stored in here. The only ones that are missing are the new ones, and I do have them right here again. I figured I'm going to show one. I might as well just show the other ones as well. Uh, so uh, eventually, I am going to put the Digimon Seekers uh, DIM cards in there too. Uh, the Holy Wings and Forest Guardians, four, I'm counting the DIM cards, so one, two, three, four, and then the Adventure 2 DIM cards, six, and then six, I might as well just show it really quickly, no, I'm going a bit quickly, so forgive me about that. So we're at six so far, and then seven total with the Postmon BE DIM card. Oh, hmm. oh, never mind. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> I thought it was opened already, but no, it's just they put the tape in the middle right here, not on top. Um, but yeah, the little detail that I wanted to show is I barely noticed this while I was getting everything together. I really appreciate how they have the Logomon, ooh, excuse me, uh, the Logomon linker strap down here since this is specifically for Digimon Seekers. Oh, look, look at that. Actually, it does say Digimon Seekers right there. And one looks at the, uh, the uh, Sons of Chaos Digipolice uh, set. Uh, this obviously does have the Digimon Seekers at the top. Uh, right, yeah, right. It'll be the left on the screen for you guys. But if you look at the the the, the demonstration down here, it's a Vital Bracelet Logomon uh, strap. If we look at the Adventure Two and the Holy Wings Forest Guardian sets, one will notice that it's just a traditional uh, Vital Bracelet, the white one. And what another cool little detail. Excuse me, everyone. A little pop up popped up over here. Let me close that. Uh, another little detail that I really enjoy and appreciate about these sets too is that uh, they're, they're not really stock images. Well, I guess technically they are stock images, but what I mean by that, uh, by that is that it's not the same image being copy-pasted onto every uh, product. If one notices here, it's pink, or I guess not, well it looks, does look pink in the picture, <laughs> but it's more reddish. Uh, for the Holy Wings dim, for the Adventure 2, uh, it's yellow. For the white and yellow dim, Obviously for Postmon, it's going to be yellow, but still the fact that it's yellow to begin with to represent Postmon, I think that's very cool. It could have been just a generic one that they utilized here, the Royutomon Dem for the other uh, set right here. So that's actually a really cool detail that I appreciate and I think it's quite awesome. And that, um, since I brought up the additional logo on the top right, um, this one it does say, it does state uh, Digimon Adventure 2, uh, the beginning. And this one, because it's just a Vital Bracelet product in general, although it's Digimon, obviously, uh, it's not connected to any Digimon uh, series. 
it's not connected to Seekers or the previous anime series that got released. It's just in relation to the Digimon Battle Bracelet. So in other words, this is more akin to the V-Pet line than any anime slash uh, series line because Seekers is not an anime, obviously. Uh, but right here, there's nothing listed. It just says Battle Bracelet BE, which makes sense. So yeah, so again, these seven cards, eventually when I do want to utilize them, I'm going to put them into this case over here. There is more than enough space. As I said, there's seven, so that means that there's going to be one empty space. Uh, with that being said, when I first purchased this, uh, since everything's always a little bit expensive, uh, I'm a big fan of uh, looking ahead to the future. I also did purchase this other one as well because I was just concerned about the space of the dim cards and the BE dim cards. I wanted to make sure I was not going to run out and have to store them in like baggies or just have them being loose. Um, so the other one that I got is the Duke Mon slash uh, Gallet Mon. It says Amplified. I'm curious if that's maybe from... Um, I'm not sure if that's from Tamers. I don't remember him becoming Amplified. I am sure that there... I, I am sure. I am aware that there's a series of um, model kits cut Amplified, I believe. So I wonder if that's a reference to that. But it's Duke Mon, so that's why I got it from Tamers. I'm a big Guillemon. He's probably my second favorite after Go uh, Gabumon. Um, but in this, these ones, if one were cause... Oh, actually, unfortunately, they're being with me. But my official case is I explained that they hold five, but in mind, they're only holding two because I'm going to put those little uh, uh, protectors at the end, these ones over the, uh, the prongs, those protectors. Unfortunately, when I put that, they don't fit in my official card cases. Uh, but thankfully, I went ahead and just put them in here. So that's what I have over here. These originally went uh, with my official cases. But I removed them in order to create space to allow only three. And over here, one's going to notice those are my non-Digimon BE cards. Uh, I did appreciate the strap for the Demon Slayer. I liked how it looked. And also the Tokyo Revengers strap. I liked how that looked as well. So that's why I made the choice to purchase those for the straps. I don't watch Demon Slayer nor read. I also don't watch nor read. Um, what was the other one? Uh, Tokyo Revengers. Um, so yeah, so that's how I store my BE cards. The other ones that I've shown so far, the, the other storage units, the, um, the Etsy ones uh, that has Gabumon, uh, the other one has Omega Mon, and the other one has uh, Gyomon. Uh, I use those for my DIM cards. The official cases, the tin ones, the, the tender middle ones, uh, the green and black ones, uh, I use those for uh, my BE DIM cards as well. And uh, DIM cards, and not, not the BE, the regular DIM cards. And I use these ones specifically for my BE cards. I wanted to have some kind of category or have, be organized in some way. So when I do pull out the cards, I know approximately where to look for them. And as a quick reminder, uh, this is the one. Uh, so this seller does sell uh, these. These are also two other designs. Uh, one Black War Greymon. I forgot the other design. Uh, but the seller does have other ones that they typically sell in one store. And this is one of them as well. And just as a quick reminder, while I do love the design for this, I think it's very cute and adorable. Um, one negative aspect about it is the fact, well, it's two units first of all, so it's not attached like the other two are. Uh, but in addition to that also, as I explained last time, uh, getting out the DIM cards is actually quite difficult. One would have to uh, use their fingers and pry into the prong portion, which I just don't like. As a reminder, I did try to create my own little notch right there with the, with the knife. Uh, didn't really work out as, uh, as well as I was planning uh, for it to be. Um, but that's why I went back onto, I got these through Etsy, that's why I went back onto Etsy and purchased these other ones um, that I really enjoy a lot more. And to reiterate the reason why I like them a lot more is because they have notches at the top where one could dig out the dim card quite easily. There we go, see? So that's why I like it so much. And I purposely do put it in the bottom like this on purpose because I don't want to pull it through the, uh, this is the Gamma Mon one. I don't want to pull it from the prong portion. And putting them back is just as simple as well. And they are quite snug too. Um, so that's pretty cool. And, uh, and yeah, so that's why I really like these other two. Um, with that being said, those were the Digimon items. Well, I, uh, those were the Vital Bracelet Digimon items that I wanted to share that I got through Zenin and that I had laying around. But I also wanted to share were the non Vital Bracelet items that I got through Zenin TCG. So, as one may know, shipping is not usually cheap, unfortunately, through Zenin, through Japan Yuan, uh, Habi, Genkai. Any uh, service or one's going to be purchasing items from Japan, unfortunately, the shipping is always going to be at least $20. And because of that, that's why I'm a big fan of not just purchasing one item. Uh, when this first came out, I did not want to just purchase this and pay $20. Uh, I think this was either 20 I think it was 25 actually, so just 5 bucks cheaper than the shipping and handling. So because of that, I made the choice to go ahead and purchase this along with it. <laughs> it's a pencil bag, a pencil slash pin bag. 
And uh, it, it is a frontier. I'm not going to lie. I would, I would, I would like this a lot more if it was either of Adventure 1, Adventure 2, Tamers, or of the uh, Savers cast, or even Ghost game. But uh, I don't hate Frontier. Uh, I do find it to be an enjoyable ride if one wants more Digimon. It's definitely, in my opinion, the weakest Digimon uh, series. Well, with uh, asterisks, I haven't seen Applemon, nor have I seen... Um, I haven't seen Applemon, nor have I seen uh, Cross War slash Hunters. I've, to my understanding, they're, uh, despite having different names, Hunters and Cross Wars is one story. Um, so from what I have seen, Adventure One, Adventure Two, Tamers, uh, Frontier, Savers, Ghost Game, A Try, uh, Last Cousina, Adventure Two, the movie, and I'm going to go ahead and include Seekers since I consider Seekers to be a main franchise, even though there's not there's no anime for it. Uh, this is definitely the weakest from all of those. Uh, but again, if one wants more Digimon. One can't go wrong with, uh, with Frontier. So yeah, I had made the choice to purchase this. It has all the main cast and it has their spirit evolutions as little plushies. And then it has uh, Bokumon, Nimon. Oh, and Pas I forgot that Padamon also had... A <laughs> I thought they combined Bokumon and Padamon into one, but I forgot that Padamon also had that little uh, swim, flotation, whatever <laughs> it was that Bokumon and Padamon both wore. Um, but yeah, so I purchased this, this uh, I am going to be using it using it because I do have a pen that I use that I take to work uh, In addition to that since my order went over a specific threshold I also ended up getting these stickers for free. I'm pretty sure it came with my order I don't, I'm not a sticker individual. I don't use the stickers typically I give them away to friends and family uh, But yeah, so it came with I think these are pendulum stickers, uh, but they came free with my order So that's pretty cool. It was a promotion at that time and then lastly, but certainly not least, what I do like about Zen, and Japan you want, has a tendency to do this as well, but Zen NTCG gives more. I like the free items that Zen NTCG tends to include uh, with, the, uh, with the order. Uh, I, I wonder if maybe the number of cards is based on the number of order, total orders that the uh, one has purchased, that one has made, excuse me, because I did get two cards. Usually I get more than one card from them. I'm trying to, you know what, that might be, the, that might be why I get more than one card actually. Uh, no, actually, that's not true because from Japan, you want to do order. I never just order one item and they always just give me one, so never mind. They also gave me two stickers as well, two free stickers that almost always comes with Zenin's order. So that's a really cool little um, um, bonus that one gets with Zenin TCG. Although it is true, they do take a little bit longer to ship. Uh, one needs to remember that makes sense. I did that side just because I know it's easy to become impatient, but... One needs to remember that Zen TCG is based in Singapore, so they had to wait for the items to come to them from Japan um, before they could ship it off to their uh, their their customer, uh, their customers. Uh, excuse me, I was putting these away. But yeah, so finally I, I got my Postmon bin, uh, bin my Postmon BE DIM card, and finally uh, after such a long time, I was able to showcase to everyone how I store my BE cards. Again, these are just for my BE, not my DIM cards. Um, yeah, hopefully one enjoyed this video. Uh, if anyone is still collecting for the Vital Bracelet, please let me know what's your opinion. Are you nervous that it's going to be over? Are you, like me, hopeful that it's going to continue? If it is going to be over, uh, is it over for you? For me personally, even officially, it is done. I am going to see, uh, still keep using mine. As always, I like to state that I have two. I have my, my uh, social slash professional one that I take to work slash when I go out. And I have my salmon slash uh, red one that I use when I actually do my workouts and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, so what's your opinion about the Vital Bracelet? Did you guys end up enjoying it? I still need to do my, my review on the Vital Bracelet as a whole unit. I know I promised that I'll do that after one year of use, uh, but I haven't done that yet. But I am still planning to do so. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you guys all have a prodigious day. Take care and uh, have a great day.